God's grace. It's a great honor that we come before you. We come to reconciliate with you. Father, we need, we want that you forgive us. Whatever I went far from you. We thank you for every program before. And we thank you for the next program. Come and dominate. Give the chances. Give the strong strength. The most important is the heart that forgive. As you forgive us, give us the power to forgive us. That the, the, the goodness of those honor you be with be to them. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, we thank you, God, for this beautiful day. So every time you have a privilege to come in his house, just happy, be happy for that. So in this week, we are learning about how can you have the heart that forgives. The heart that forgives is the heart of God. Because if someone used to forgive, means that he has a God in him. Let's see in Ephesians 4:32. Ephesians 4, verse 32. We see what the Bible tells us. We welcome the visitors. Yes, May God bless you so much. Ephesians 4, verse 32. Yes, be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving mm. each other, just as in Christ God forgave you. We see here that through Christ we may have the forgiveness. The, forgi the, the, the scriptures tells us to do good. Forgive each other. As Christ forgave us. So, so here we see that every time you have an uh, opportunity of being forgiven by, by God, you must have the heart of God. So you must forgive because even God requires to forgive. We must imitate to God. So every time you see that the things are going wrong, it's a time, to, it's a moment to come to God. You come before God and you tell God, please God, give me the heart of forgive. Because uh, first of all, the forgiveness brings the reconciliation the family. Yes. So the, the, the children connect each other with their parents. And the parents connect with the children. So we found that there's some things that Satan destroyed, but then God come and connect, uh, uh, separate, uh, um, restores. restore them. So meanwhile, God keep restoring everything that the evil destroyed. So the person forgive because God require him to or her to forgive. You don't forgive because the sin that they 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 they, 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 they 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 make for you are easy. So you forgive, but because God requires you to forgive. 
in your family you forgive them forgive the neighbors you understand very well to forgive your spouse you forgive your children you forgive your brothers and sisters even you yourself you forgive yourself. So you can make the mistake then you causes you to always forgive condemn condemn yourself. You condemn yourself. Always you say, what I did this. Where I was looking for. So every time you condemn yourself because you, there is some way you didn't perform well. So you see many people many people they used to condemn by themselves and he said why, why I married this one where, where, why I took the such kind of decision so you so you must know if the things happened you must forgive yourself and you forgive the one who Raise your hands before God. Sweet Lord Jesus, I ask you to forgive me. Let my heart have a, a, a grace of your forgiveness. Let your mercy be an abundance in my life. Forgive me, Lord. Help me to receive your forgiveness. Give me to be humble. That I may receive your forgiveness. That I may do what pleases you. In the name of Jesus. Grab the hands together. So, so to forgive is a benef benefit of your life. Jesus told his disciples telling them to forgive. So then the next the, the disciples asked him how many times the person I have to forgive. Then Jesus re <laughs> replied 70,007. So means that you must dress yourself the power of forgiveness every time. So you must forgive because everywhere you are, every every time, any time, there are many people which they will they will do wrong to you. But you must have the heart of forgiving. Let's see in Genesis 33. Genesis 33. We see the family, one family met the challenge. After then they found the solution. Oh yes. Ngo Yakobo yubura maso arebye abona Esau azanye nabantu magana ane. Agabanya abana abareya abarasheri n'inshureke zombi abazo. Ashira imbere inshureke nabana bazo azikurikiza aho reya nabana be abase barasezererwa na Rasheli na Yosefu. Maze ubwe ara abarangaza imbere yikubita hasi karindwi ari ndagera aho yagereye yegereye mwene se esawo ari rukanka ajya kumusanganira aramuhobera begamiranya amajosi aramusoma bombi bararira esawo yubura maso abona babagore nabana aramubaza ati abo muri kumwe bari ya nabahe aramusubiza ati abo nabana imana yabereye umugaragu wawe ubuntu bwayo maze zanshureke zigira hafi zo nabana bazo bikubita hasi na reya nabana be bigira hafi bikubita hasi hakurikiraho Yosefu na Rasheli bigira hafi bikubita hasi 
aramubaza ati umukumbi twahuye wose nuwiki aramusubiza ati no kugira ngo nkugirire aho umugisha data buja esa aramusubiza ati ibyo mfite birahagije mwene data ibyo ufite byiha ubyihariye yakobo aramubwira ati oya ndakwinginze niba nkugirire aho umugisha emera impano nguhaye kuko mbonye mu maso hawe nkuko umuntu abona mu maso himana ukanezererwa jacob looked up Jacob looked up and there uh, was Esau coming with his 400 men. Mm. So he divided the children among Rea, Rash, Rachel, and the two maid servants. Uh -huh. He put the maid servant and their children in front, Rea and her children next, mm. and Rachel and Joseph in the rear. He himself went on ahead and he bowed down to the ground seven times as he approached his brother. Mm. But Esau ran to meet Jacob and embraced him. Mm -hmm. He threw his arms around his neck and kissed him, mm. and they wept. Then Esau looked up and saw the woman and the, cho and, uh, and the children who are this, who are the, uh, on cho and children. Who are those with you? He asked. Jacob answered, They are the children, the children God has gr graciously given your servant. Mm. Six. Then the maid servant and their children approached and bowed down. Next, Rhea and her children came and bowed down. Last of all, come Joseph and Rachel. And they too bowed down. Mm. Esau asked, What do you mean by all these droves I made? To find, f to find favor in your eyes, my lord, he said. But Esau said, I already have print, print, printy, my printy, my brother, ki my brother, keep what you have for yourself. Mm. Ten. No, please, said Joseph, if I have found favor in your eyes, I accept, I, uh, um, I ac accept, accept this gift from me, for, for to see your face is like seeing the face of God now that you have received, that you have received me for favorably. Mm -hmm. Please accept the present that what brought that what brought to you, for God has been gracious gracious to me, and I have all I need. And become and because Joseph insisted, Esau accepted it. Thank you. Hano Travana Yakobona Esau Bongira Guhura. So here we see Jacob and Esau when they met each other. After the problems that build between them, we see here that Jacob free. After freed, he went to Raban's house and spent the days there. So this, the scriptures tells us after these long days, he has a, a heart of forgiving. <laughs> So Jacob was very sad in his heart. He, need, he, he needed what can make him to be reconciled by his brother. He didn't know what can bring back the, pl the, the happiness in his heart. He has a uh, um, living stock. He had cattles. He had cattles. He has a children. He had the many women. Woman. He had the worthy. But he lacked only one thing. He lost his brother who could forgive him. So he went, he went, he shifted from his uncle, he lifted his woman, his women, his children, just to go and ask the forgiveness, even if it was not easy. 
na Esau. Jacob, ja, Jacob went to meet with Esau because he felt very, he felt very bad. First, he faced the death. He, he feel like to die is possible. He didn't have any choice. But he committed himself to meet his brother. If you're writing, just write this down. To, come, to forgive required the commitment. You commit yourself. Because you, can, you can't forgive in, uh, when you didn't commit yourself yes. to it. You must commit. Jacob said, I'm going to meet with my brother. I don't know what he's going to do, but I commit myself to go and meet him. Jacob stood up. And he went to meet his brother. When Esau saw him, he doubted, he thought that is something, someone else, but he didn't know that is Jacob is going to meet with him. But Jacob knows very well to meet Esau it was, not, was something hard, was not something easy. <laughs> so, every time you are before God, you must know that there is a fight that you have to fight. Jacob stood up. Stood up. Then she, met, she went to meet Esau. So didn't know that Jacob can come back before him. But always the plan of God is there anytime you commit yourself to meet him. Raise your hands up before God. Little Lord Jesus. Give me a forgiving heart. Give me a forgiving heart, O oh Lord. Even when I'm going through hardships, give me a heart that forgives that I may praise you. Lord, give me a heart that forgives that I may do what praises your heart. Give me the strength to forgive in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Yes. So, so here we see Jacob going committed to meet his brother. Uh, the Bible says that when he arose to meet his brother, he first sent the cows ahead of him. But he had in mind that when Esau sows the cattle, then he will forgive him easily. Then he allows and sent children ahead of him. He sent the wives ahead of him. He sent the cattle ahead of him. But he never he could remember that he saw his brothers waiting for him, and then he could be weakened. Uh, there's a time when someone that you betrayed is not ready to forgive you. Then a forgiving heart is the desire of God that it should be in us. Whether in our marriages, we must have a forgiving heart. Uh, whether you want it or not, there are some times that will not come into a common understanding with the one you married or your spouse. But you commit yourself that I should have a forgiving heart in me. Uh, maybe during the day you cannot come in the same direction with you, the, your spouse. In a business, you might have something that you don't come into okay. agreement. Uh, maybe you say that I want to do business, but the wife says we want to set up a house. 
kudahuza biye gutuma mu babanze also let us just know the disagreement that we have will make us enemies ariko turabona hano yakobo we yiyemeje ko nubwo yahe mu kimuvandimwe we ajya kumusanga but here we see Jacob, although he knew that he betrayed his brother, he committed himself to arise and go meet him. So today we are going to see how the one that harmed you, the one who have caused the injury yes. to you, comes to face you for forgiveness. Sometimes the one who offended you will come to you. Uh, somebody who did bad can come to you. Some other times, those who offended you refuse to come and you are the one to go there. Uh, I but he, he here we are seeing the case of Jacob is the one who offended Esau, so he takes a step and he comes to see Esau. So he's coming to meet Esau. What do we learn from him, number one? He knew to prepare and give off gifts to the one who offended. He prepared some gifts for the one who offended. Uh, and write the things down. Uh, at times when you have offended someone, you need to prepare some gifts so that those gifts become like a foundation for the one you offended to forgive you. Maybe seeing the gifts, seeing your heart may just feel compassionate to you again. That says, yes, please, I recognize my wrongs, I recognize my mistakes, then I Come to you for forgiveness. So as you hear this word, remember the people that we have offended. You that are present here and those that are following us online, remember, look behind and say, I have offended some people, then I needed to for so ask for forgiveness from them. Maybe to you, you can just see it and you give it a, a valueless Yacob. cost, but for that person, it becomes a big thing to him or her. Jacob had stolen the blessing of his elder brother. And here we see originally Jacob did not intend to steal the blessing of his own brother, but this came as a plan from his mother. It was an advice came that from the mother of Jacob. So Jacob did it just with um, just to obey the instructions and the guidance of his mother who he ended up offending his brother. And so here now is the advice. Put aside the one who advised you to offend your brother. Put aside the one who helped you to offend someone. Take a step. Meet the one you offended yourself and ask for forgiveness. So now Jacob allows he went to meet his brother Esau. He had wives. He had children. He had cattle. But he didn't have a brother. So for Jacob to reconcile himself with his brother Esau was to get someone on his side that they are rated of the same blood, a side of the cattle that he had. He, had, he wanted a family. I write this word. So you reconcile yourself with your brother, your sister, so that you gain him, that the enemy had taken him away from you. 
Meaning that if you yes. don't decide to reconcile with your relatives, then it means that the enemy has betrayed you. He has taken your brother, and yet your brother or your sister could have become part of your life and your family. That someone tells you that, I'll leave that one aside. We no longer need him or her. But if that church. person is a brother or a sister, you still need that person. So now here we see someone who has offended someone. He has come and taken a step for forgiveness to the one he offended. Let us pray that may the Lord give us the strength, clothe us with the strength to take a step and ask for forgiveness to those that have betrayed. So asking for forgiveness is that now we are placed back at where we had disconnected from them. Yes. Let us pray that today may God reunite you with those people, brothers and sisters, relatives that you have been disconnected for so long. Raise your hands and we pray. Say that, Lord Jesus, there are those who have offended me. And it in a state that I disconnect from them. I ask that you forgive me. Even those that I offended. And I was disconnected from them. Forgive me, Lord Jesus. Because of the power of your clothes. May you unite us as my, with my brother and sisters. That I may bring back the opportunities that I lost. Bring my relatives back unto me. Give me a forgiving heart. Give me a heart that is full of mercy. That that was in Christ Jesus. When you were at the cross and you say that God forgive them for they don't know what they are doing. Give me a heart that is full of compassion that I may please you. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When you come to know God Therefore, you needed to understand that the, what can I do so that I bring back the brother, the sister that, that the enemy has taken from me. So what can I do to bring him or her back? So when you don't arise and ask for forgiveness, then you lose that person. Uh, at times that people who have offended us, they keep them at distance because they are not sure of about, about our forgiveness. Even when we, we surrender and forgive them, at times they see it as if it is a Hypocritic something that they are not forgiven. But as you keep talking to them, as you keep giving them gifts, as you keep coming closer to them, then they recognize and they see the forgiveness that is coming where they are. For you to tell someone that forgive me, number one, uh, put aside, put down your pride that tells you you didn't do anything wrong. Uh, until Jacob recognized that he made some mistakes, he offended his brother. Then he put aside his pride. He came to his brother and said, forgive me for I have offended you. If you have offended someone, you know it very well that you offended the person. The reason why you don't come, you become meek before that person and you ask for forgiveness. At times you feel that inside, the inner pride in you. But a person is born again. You need to soften yourself and ask for forgiveness. That is how Jacob did it. He was humble. He humbled himself and approached Esau. And that is in Genesis 33 verses 1 up to 4. Genesis 33. 
Verses number one to four. We are Kobo Urama, so Arabia, Abana Esau, Azanyanaba, no Magadane, Agabanyabana, Abarea, Abarashedi, Nabi Shreches Zos. As she in better in Shurichanaba and Abazo, Akurichiza, Akurichiza Horea, Naba, Nabi, but Abas is one of Rashid Nazef, or Wagata too, Maz Ubge, Abaranga Zimbere, Ye Kubitahasi Karin, we are in the Jeraho, Ye Jerry Mgenese. Esawari ukanga jia kumusanga nida. Aramu hovera. Bega mira nyama josi. Aramu soma bombi baradida. Yes. Okay. I was reading from. 33. Verse 33. Read verse yes. 3 and 4. Yakobo yuburamu aso. Okay. Hanu tulabona. Echini chikome chane. Jira hanga. Nukunu yakobo yiku visa hasi karinu. Here we see how Jacob bowed down seven times. You were at a house. He bowed down. I saw him, Babas. He asked for forgiveness. Come, you were at a house. Karin, he bowed down seven times. I shock him, Babas. He wanted the mercy. Urugen Rogu shock him, Babas. The Kurimian so Rugu Sabak Yoroya. A agenda that seeks for mercy, it requires that you become humble. Kariarum Arum Vandemge Yamamagay, Kuria, dear Amgrango. Ya sanzi minu murugo rugo, abiva jumudamu, mudama rakara, arahunga va murugo. Ati na kosa kose, kandi na makosa kose gano mudamu. Nyamu ngeretse, arahukana. So when, just in a minute, when I was at the radio, then someone called me and said, uh, I have a problem with my wife. I found something at home. When I asked my wife what it is, then the wife began to shout and he decided to quit and to leave the house. So when I tried to bring her back, she's saying she didn't do anything wrong. No, no, Aramba, that Ugu had a cosana cause, Nakorichuku, Madame, Namanet, Cosa, Cosi, Akogan, what you must have Babazi, Hagatia Hukan. So now he was asking, What mistake did I commit? Because I asked something that I found in the house. So instead of explaining to me, then she decided to quit and to leave the house. So what should I do? Did I do anything wrong to her? Damogan Musange, O Musabin Babazi, Musabogar Kamuruko. Then in response, I said, please go to her and ask for forgiveness. Be humble to her so that you may gain her and bring her back. So uh, marriage is built on humbleness and forgiveness. So now Jacob understood that bowing down seven times, it is the only way through which he can receive mercy from his brother. He just put aside the pride that he had. He put aside the cattle that he had, the wives and the concubines and the children. So himself went down seven times seeking for forgiveness from his brother. So every time you decide to be humble, you will see the goodness of the Lord. Why do you, we ask for forgiveness? So the reason why you ask for forgiveness is that we gain mercy from our brethren. Uh, number two, for you to gain mercy is just when you commit yourself to be a truthful person. And you'll be bold enough and say, I have offended you. I have taken your money. Forgive me. I have beshamed you before people. Then forgive me. A person who asks for forgiveness, you have to be born enough and you speak that very mistake that you committed that offended or how you offended your yes. relative. Uh, Genesis 33 verses 5. And he lifted up his eyes and saw the women and the children and said, Who are those with you? And he said, The children with whom God has graciously given thy servant. And uh, the herdsmen came near, and they, their children, they bowed themselves. And Leah also with her children came near and bowed themselves after, after. Joseph came and Rachel, and they bowed themselves. Verses 8. And he said, What means thou all these drove which I met? And said, these are to find a grace in the sight of the, my Lord. 
And Esau said, I have enough, my brother. Keep that hush thou thyself. And Jacob said, No, I pray thee, if I have found grace in thy sight, receive my present at my hand. For there I have seen thy face, as though I have seen the face of God, and thou was pleased with me. Esau so Abo muri kumwe bariya nabahe aramusubiza ati abo ni abana imana yihereye umugaragu wawe ubuntu bwayo maze zanshurekeze igira hafi zo nabana bazo bikubita hasi nareya nabana be bigira hafi bikubita hasi hakurikiraho Yosefu narasheri bigira hafi bikubita hasi aramubaza ati umukumbi twahuye wose nuwiki Aramusubiza ati nuwo kugira ngo nkugirireho umugisha data buje Esawu aramusubiza ati ibyo mfite birampagije mwana wa data ibyo ufite ubyiharire Yakobo aramubwira ati oya ndakwinginze niba nkugiriyeho umugisha emera impano nguhaye kuko mbonye mu maso hawe nkuko umuntu abona mu maso himana akune akanezerwa Hey and the cabinet Then write the things. Yes. Kuwabarida, because it's a gikomere chomu muti mawandi batawa na kufiti. Forgiving or forgiveness heals you from the hurt wounds that can't be seen outside. There is a time when your heart is full of wounds, but people don't see it on you. Jacob had wives, had concubines, had children, had keto, but his heart was full of wounds. Uh, one of the things that can make God heal your heart is through forgiveness. Number three. Uh, forgiveness builds your relationship that is continuously with people. Now here we see Jacob coming back to his brother. Now he hugged him. He cried on him. Uh, someone who can't ask for forgiveness can't help someone that you cry on the shoulders. There are people that you find that they don't, they don't know how to relate. Mwabana igihe cyose akaba gushaka minyungu gusa yamara kuzibona akabara gutaye undi akamushaka minyungu yamara kuzibona akabara mutaye. Every time that person you relate with him or her he finds after some days he leaves you then he relates with other people after some time then they leave them they come and connect with other people like that ni wowe ugomba kumenya uburyo umenya gutanga ikiguzi cyo kubana so it is you you are so but that should understand how to bear the price to relate kandi kubana ntago ari inshingano z'ababanya z'abakuru bari mariye ngo bamenye kubana n'umutoya ugomba kwiga kubana nabana so relating is not only the responsibility of those that are married that they should learn how to relate with each other but even in the young people, they should run how to rate on their own as individuals. Another thing we have seen that forgiveness builds up good relationships. Uh, just see you through yourself. Do you relate with people in a good way? Or whosoever annoys you, then you broke him straight. You bracket everyone that annoys you. There are people who are good at bracketing people. Uh, if you don't come into agreement with on something, then he said, betray number one. Uh, betray number two. Look, check into your phone now. Uh, there are people that you gave names according to the mistakes that they did to you. Today now I ask you, God has forgiven you. Is he still calling you a sinner or he calls you his own child? Forgive someone. 
Forgive your brethren. But don't keep seeing that person in the image of those people that offended you sometimes. That is why when you come to Jesus, you need to have that heart of Christ in you. That is a forgiving heart. That is a heart that pleases God. That is a heart that causes God or compels God to rejoice in you. That is a forgiving heart. Say the Lord Jesus, give me a heart that forgives. Give me a heart that forgives. That I may forgive my brothers and sisters. That I may forgive my neighbors. Those that we live together, that I forgive them. Now look into the stall of Jacob. He made a mistake that he not intended to do because of the advice from the mother. The mistake made him go away from the family for years and years. Yet he did not engage himself initiated from the plan of betraying or offending his own brother, but it was a plan from other people but caused him to run away and to flee from their family. Let me ask you now this. Is it, how is it? Is it easy in your marriage to ask for forgiveness? Among the workmates, all those people that you spend the day with, is it easy for you to ask for forgiveness in case you offend or you are offended? So here we see that you need, you are required to forgive the brethren. That may the will of the, God, the Lord control your heart. So we have seen that whenever you forgive, it means even you have forgiven yourself. There are one of the mother that we fellowshiped here. Though that mother then whenever she could be praying she could say oh God I know I have committed some mistakes I have did some evil but why don't you forgive me please God kindly forgive me she had failed in other words she had failed to accept and to believe in the mercies of God at times you find a person has asked for forgiveness from God but you again you fail to receive the forgiveness from God so you keep seeing yourself in the image of the past mistakes that you committed there was a man that I love called Paul that is in 1 Timothy 1 14. he said that I thank the Lord who accounted me trustworthy. First, I became just unworthy that I was a leader, but he has forgiven me. So, you me. so when you understand that you are forgiven, so even you to forgive others becomes easy. And Write this word. So forgiveness removes um, conflicts. conflicts in your heart. Yes. It removes the internal conflict within yes. you. And there is a time when you feel you are full of bitterness within you. But when you forgive that person, your heart becomes full of peace because forgiveness heals. Uh, forgiving brings rebirth into your heart. Uh, forgiveness brings back the opportunity that you lost. Uh, forgiveness brings back hope. Uh, forgiving gives you to think rightly. And now forgiving gives you the internal joy. So now we see Jacob here. He went and knelt before his brother and said, Forgive me. And write this word. Uh, forgiving does not require that you bring pers that very person that offended you to be back into your life. 
An example, you are living with someone in the same house. Then that person offends you. Then the other day or oh, asks for forgiveness to come back. Maybe you were living in the same house and one day he arose and took all the money that was on the account. Yes, I have forgiven you. Now you're back. But now I will not give you the full access to the account that you withdraw all the money. Uh, first, I needed to check on you whether you have repented to live. Yes. So you forgive, but you give a period of change. Have you changed? Are you transformed? Are you surely changed? Every time you are not changed, there are things that characterize you. Number one, when someone is not yet changed, even that person feels that unworthy. If every time you feel you are unworthy, but when you are fully changed and you ask for forgiveness, uh, you are being forgiven, but even in return, you deceive and you believe in the forgiveness that you have been given. Jacob was changed. Uh, when he changed, then he took a step to go and meet the one that he had offended to ask for forgiveness. And, and the then he wrote this word. Uh, taking a step towards the one you offended, yes. it is a step of wellness. You go to meet the one you offended. And you tell that person, please forgive me. This one we call them the steps of Jacob. So the steps of Jacob, these are the steps where you put aside all the ghetto, you put aside all the pride, you put aside everything that you own. You go as an individual before the eyes of the one you offended and you ask him here, please, I did this mistake, but I have come to ask for forgiveness. There is a time when Jacob delays to come. And yet is the one who has offended you. Now it in states that Esau goes to meet Jacob. Then write this word. Uh, then when do you go for forgiveness to someone who offended you, but rather you go to seek for forgiveness to the one you did not offend? When is that? Then he wrote. It, is, it happens when the one who has offended you is still feeling to come where you are, to meet you. So for you, you go to meet him. Instead. Did you know that someone can offend you, but he fails to get where to begin to ask for forgiveness for you? But when you happen to approach that person that offended you, then in return he says, Did you know that I have I knew my mistakes, but I have to I have failed the approach how I can come to you. But for because you have come to me, this is the mistake that I did. I ask for forgiveness. Number two. Okay, the time another time that you may take a step to meet the one who has offended you is when you look into the situation and find that the devil is about to betray you or to take away your brother, your sister. So you go there like how Judas it happened to him. You there him with your Christo. Judas betrayed Jesus. Christ. So instead of repenting, he went to hang himself. He committed suicide. There is a time when your brother, your sister can be offend you. Uh, and then when he just see 
comes to his senses or to her senses, then he said, you didn't do anything wrong to him or her. Then that person in conclusion says, I have offended my brother, I have offended my sister, I'm unworthy to go before him, so the only thing I can do is to to take my life to commit suicide. Because the so you might be with someone, your spouse, but you find she or he doesn't know how to ask for forgiveness or even don't recognize the mistakes. Even it was not mentored about peacekeeping, then you have to take a step and ask for forgiveness to bring and to calm down the situation in the house. Mubjarane, Abraham yarabibonye aragenda afubwira hagara ati rero akiruhago rw'amazi heko umwana wawe sohoka mu rugo nkuko sara yabivuze Okay the lucky situation in the Abraham's house there came that Sal took her servant and gave her into the hands of Abraham to make her a wife then he impregnated her then Sara when he saw that the the concubine or the, the servant maid was pregnant. Salah was very agitated and angry. He told Abraham that he cast away her God uh, to leave this house. Abraham was not happy about it. He went before the Lord to ask for guidance. Then God told him, go and do it the way Salah has told you. So Abraham came back and told her God, please pack your things. Here is the bottle of water. Take your child and leave the house as Sal has said. Abraham did it. That he may bring back peace into the house as Sarah has said. And write this word now. Uh, anytime you are asked to ask for forgiveness by your leader, you need to obey and do it. This is how Abraham went back and asked for forgiveness from Sarah as God had told him. Then he chased away her girl the wife. All those are benefits from being mentored. And then write this. Who is the teacher about forgiveness? Number one. Your father, your mother has the responsibility of teaching you how to forgive. Uh, if you are not told from your mothers, from your parents, from your family, then from today understand that it is your responsibility and take it as your responsibility that you need to teach your household how to forgive. Yes. My children forgive one another. He said, my mom, they have taken all my milk. Now that I have all my clothes, now I don't know how they have put my shoes Then a parent comes in and said, please forgive. Then tell your brother, your sister, sorry. When you have not mentored your child to ask for forgiveness when he commits a mistake, even when he or she grows up in the marriage, he or she doesn't know how to ask for forgiveness. Number two. 
a teacher, a school teacher needs to teach the students or the pupils how to ask for forgiveness and how to forgive. That is why you will find among the students the children are going to teacher to say someone has offended me, someone has done this to me, to the teachers. There's a time when your teacher tells you that forgive him or her. And you find that there is one of the students, he was told to forgive, but he doesn't forgive. Then you find that even after classes, they wait after just behind the, the, the school fence for to fight. That means that this student, this child was not taught how to forgive. Number three category. Abashumba bagomba kuigisha wa Kristo kwa barira. Pastors must teach Christians or believers how to forgive one another. Obo ni koko kazi ni mogo kora. This is the work that I'm doing now. I'm teaching you how to forgive. Uh, who is committed that from today I'm going to try it. There are those that I see they have not yet received the message. But you don't have other choice. The word of God helps us how to forgive. Forgiving. Number five category. Every leader has the responsibility to teach those people that he leads how to forgive. At workplace, there are people who fight you. There are those who can give you a bad report that you don't have the capacity and yet you have the capacity. Even there are those that will just you gave the report when it was overdue and yet it was just in time. When you don't have a forgiving heart, even you can just quit your job when it is yes. still early. May God give you a heart that forgives. Other people that need to teach people how to forgive. Uh, if you still have your in-laws, so when they come at the, their presence, what do you think they need to tell you? They say, forgive one Yo, another. Raise your hands before God. Now. Say that, Lord Jesus, give me a forgiving heart in my job. Give me a forgiving heart at my house. Give me a heart that forgives in my entire life. Let me just a person that forgives that I may please you all the days of my life in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Forgiving one another. It's something that God requires us yes. that we must have it in our lives. Uh, forgiving is everyone's responsibility. Then write the things. It's unforgiving. What is unforgiving? What is unforgiveness? Uh, number one, I have seen that unforgiveness brings disconnection from God. When you don't forgive, then you are far from God. If you don't forgive those that offended you, Every time you feel you are, there is a distance between you and God. Number two. Okay, when you don't forgive, you are not connected to the Holy Spirit of God. You don't feel Him moving in your life. Uh, when you don't forgive, you feel the Holy Spirit of God is far from you. Yes. Number three. Uh, if you don't forgive, you still keep into yourself this soul that keeps on increasing day by day. So unforgiveness opens up other doors of 
having feeling the pain again. Uh, then that's where a person comes up and says, last time you offended me and I forgave you. Now you have repeated the same thing at the same time. So every time you keep offending me, when you forgive, it's like you empty your heart, you don't feel the pain anymore. Number four. How that does, does not forgive, it can fall sick. Yes. Or attacked by some disease. You can be attacked by any disease because you don't have that heart of forgiving. Number five. Uh, a person, uh, a heart that does not forgive, it revenge always. When you revenge, then the laws that govern is that. Uh, you may revenge, then in return you have killed someone. When you kill someone, you go into prison. Who will take care of your children? Who will do what you are supposed to be doing? So forgiveness protects you from going to prison. May God give you the strength to forgive. Forgive. When you refuse to forgive, you don't have that inner joy in you. Today I pray for you that you may have a forgiving heart. We are about to pray now. But I pray, I beseech you that you commit yourself today. In your marriage, you decide to forgive. Your brothers, your sisters, forgive them. Forgive your parents. At your workplace, forgive people. Whosoever that was not right with you in life, then decide. Then surrender that person to God. And tell God that God, I ask you that you give my heart that forgives. I pray for you. If you feel you want to give your life today, this is a chance that I give it to you. If you feel you want to give your life to Jesus, you raise your hand and we pray for you. May God bless you. May God bless you. May God bless you. God. Then help me and we pray this. By repeating these words. Say the Lord Jesus. I ask that you forgive me. All my sins. Those that I remember, the ones I have forgotten. Forgive me, Lord Jesus. My names. Be removed from the perishing book. Be written in the eternal book. I'm born again. In the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, come and guide my Lord. I will serve you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Yes. Let me just request you, request you to rise up on your feet. We are going to pray. Hold the hand of the person sitting next to you. Yes, hold the hand of your neighbor. We are going to intercede for that person. That may good God give him the power, the strength to forgive. If the Spirit of God tells you that forgive this person, then forgive. Maybe that person will not come to seek for forgiveness forgiveness, but decide and forgive that person. We are going to do that very thing that the word of God tells us to do. And may the God go to f just forgive us. Say the Lord Jesus, I bring to you this brethren. I pray that you may forgive this person. Give, me, give him a forgiving heart. A heart that forgives in the name of Jesus. 
her we ask her for giving her to whether during the other night we ask for her for giving her in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus we ask for her for giving her pray for that person that may God pray for we ask for the hearts that forgive. Hearts that are full of mercy. A heart that praises your name. A heart that honors you. Raise your voice and pray for that person. Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray that may you impart us. A heart that forgives. A heart that forgives Christ Jesus. Father, we pray for your children. We ask for the heart that forgives them. Father, in the name of Jesus, let them have the heart that forgives in the name of Jesus. Raise your voice and pray for that person. May God impart in him a heart of forgiving heart. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray that may God clothe him with the strength. May God enable him or her. May God enable that person. Let the heart that is full of us come down unto you. Whether in your marriage, may God give you that heart of forgiveness. At your workplace, may God give you the heart of forgiveness. In the name of Jesus. Father, we ask for the hearts that are full of forgiveness. Oh, glory to your holy name, Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Raise your hands before God. Yes. Uh, you are going to ask God for a forgiving heart. In whatever situation that you go through, may God create in you a heart that forgives. Whether at your work, whether in your marriage, whether in your daily work, may the Lord give you a heart that forgives those that offended you all. May God give you the strength to remove them, to empty them from your heart, that he may create a new life in you. Say the Lord Jesus, give me a new heart. The second time, say, Lord Jesus, give me a new heart that I may forgive all that offended me in the name of Jesus. Speak to the Lord that he gives you a new heart. Father, in the name of Jesus, Father, in the name of Jesus, we ask for a new heart. We ask for a new heart. In the name of Jesus, pray that may God give you a forgiving heart. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, we pray that you give us a new heart. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, give us a new heart. Give us a new heart of God. Give us a new heart of God. A heart that is full of mass and compassion of God. In the name of Jesus, speak to the Lord that he may forgive you. Anyone that I have offended, those that I remember, the ones that I have forgotten, I have offended them, I ask for forgiveness. I ask that you forgive me from everyone that I offended. Father, I ask that you forgive me. Those that I offended the Lord. In the name of Jesus, I ask you that I forgive. In the name of Jesus, let your masses come down to me. Let your masses come upon my life. Come that your masses come upon me. Let every stick of not forgiving go away from me. Father, those that I offended, I ask that you forgive me. Father, forgive me. All the punishment of those who offended people, let it go from me. Father, let the punishment of those who that offend others go from my children. Let the punishment of offenders leave my family members. Let the punishment of offenders leave my treasures. The punishment of offenders leave my treasures. Jacob offended Esau. And Jacob was offended. 
Father in all. Father, I pray for you. Let offending and being offended stop into my life. Let the seed of offending dry up. From today that I not be betrayed. Let my children not be destroyed or offended in the name of Jesus. Let your protection be upon my life in the name of Jesus. Lay your hand on your head. Uh, we are going just to cast away all the consequences of the impact of unforgiveness upon our lives. In the name of Jesus. Father, I pray for the life of everyone that is before me now. May the Lord forgive us. In the name of Jesus. Give us the strength to forgive. Let our gates be opened again. Let your mercies come down to me. Let me that whosoever that I see her be compassionate about that I may become compassion to everyone that comes to me, that I may be merciful to those that offended me, let a merciful heart dwell in me, and let the blessings of those that forgive be upon my life, let the opportunities of those that forgive come down to me, Father give me the strength to forgive, that I may rush and be quick to forgive, that I may not dread any forgiveness. That you may not see me as known as a good person because of any forgiveness. Let my blessings not delay because of any forgiveness. Give me a forgiving heart of love. From today, I receive a heart that forgives. Holy Spirit, come and dread in my life. Come and dread in me. That I may forgive. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. If you feel sick, then we are going to pray for you. Take a step and we will pray for you. Any kind of sickness that you might be having, there is a God that can heal you. Then there is a God that can yes. defend you. Yes, you may feel you are not feeling okay. okay. But there is a God that is with you. And there is a God that is ready to do good unto you. There is a God who is ready to defend you. There is a God that is ready to fight all your battles. So we are going to pray for your servants of God. As your servants will pray for your children. Father, may you cross them with power. In the name of Jesus. Let your hidden power come down to them. In the name of Jesus, you said it to you, Lord, that the hands of the saints heal the sick. In the name of Jesus, I pray for your children, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, I cast every sickness that it will live your life in the mighty name of Jesus. I break every power that it fights you. Let it live your life from today. I stop every sickness that it was binding in your life in the name of Jesus. The scripture says that you shall lay the hands upon the sick and they shall be healed. I declare healing upon your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Father Almighty, we call a health life in the name of Jesus. We curse every sickness. Let it live your life. I curse it from your brother. I curse it from your joy. In the mighty name of Jesus, whatever fights your life, life ready to be became in the name of Jesus. I declare immunity. You shall live longer in the name of Jesus. You shall live longer. Even your descendants will live longer in the name of Jesus. I declare better life upon you for the days of your life in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray you are good God. You are God that heals. You are God that delivers. I pray for your children. Whatever that was written in your life, let it live your life. I curse every power. I curse your power. I curse from your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Healing power may come down to you. Power that delivers may come to you. 
the power of God come down to you. May you be delivered. May you have a new life. In the mighty name of Jesus, I declare protection of your life. I declare healing of your life. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I declare healing of your life. I cast every sickness. Let it live your life. Let every sickness live. Live our life in the name of Jesus. Live in the name of Jesus. Let it live you. You evil darkness pass. Leave the children of God. Leave them in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. I cast every sickness. So evil that was upon your life. I cast it away. Let it live you. Let it live your life. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I command every demon that was fighting you. Let it live your life. I declare immunity upon your life. May you be normal. All the days of your life. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. May God bless you so much. Uh, I feel in this moment one for someone you feel you need the courage, you need the strength to forgive. You feel forgiving is not an easy task to you. Come and we pray for you. You need honor God to give you the strength and the courage to forgive. He is able. Paul said, I can do everything through Christ who gives me the power. Christ can give you the strength to forgive. Jesus is, can give you a bone. Ability to forgive. We are going to pray. May God enable you to forgive. That you may forgive. Because in your own strength you cannot do it. In the name of Jesus. Father Almighty, we pray for your children. You are God who gives strength. You give the capacity. You are the one who created the hearts. We ask the Lord, give the strength into the hearts of your people. Forgiving strength. Those Jesus you revealed at the cross. When they pierced you in the ribs. And you say, oh Lord, forgive them for they don't know what they are doing. The other strength that he given to Stephen. When he was torn to death. He said, Father, forgive them for they don't know what they are doing. We ask for strength to forgive. In the name of Jesus. We call your power into them. May God give you the strength. May God enable you. May God enable you. May God you. May God you. In the name of Jesus. I pray for you. May God enable you to forgive. May He clothe you as strength to forgive. May He strengthen you to forgive. May He strengthen you to forgive. Whether during the night that you may forgive in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray for your children. We ask for the strength to forgive. Let it be part of their life. You say that we forgive our enemies. You knew that we can be able to forgive. Let it enablement come out to us in the name of Jesus. Let your enablement come out to your children. Whether that night or during the night, let their hearts be soft to forgive in the name of Jesus. Amen. May God bless you. So we are coming to the end of our service. We are going to give our offerings into the house of God. We are going to thank God who has been with us. That God that gives a forgiving heart. He will enable us and he will make us go through. Online, so as we give those that are online with us, you can use bank account, mom account. Remit. World Remit. Those that are present here, you can use the baskets or your mom code all over the walls that are there. So we rejoice in the Lord that he's a merciful God. May God bless you.
Kando kikunda Unga unawayo Yende kikunda Na kwiri Na rumu gome Nukwe mayesu Ngamba mbirwe ku Musa Given us this opportunity to give into your hands. We ask every a blessing to every hand that has given unto you. Even the hands that will give later. Do good to them. We thank you for everyone that have heard this word. Great you, Jesus, praise his heart. In the name of Jesus Christ. May your goodness be upon everyone's life. Those who have offered it to you when they are sick, may you heal them. Those who have offered that to you when they are struggling, may you fight for them. Those who have offered that to you when they don't have a soul solution to all their lives. May you give them a solution. May you enlarge them their lives. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. May God do good unto you, my dear friends. May God be with you. May he defend you. May he fight all your